for the past two days now, my chickens don't seem to want their normal chicken food. It's like these pellets, um, it's organic and they're like for hens, for, uh, I think they're called layer pellets or something like that. And they're not interested in it at all. They won't even go near it. And um, I noticed the, uh, but the slugs and snails really are really going after it a lot. I don't know if it's because it's winter time or what, but they're really, the slugs and snails are really crazy for it, for their food and they're, they don't want to go anywhere near it. And I don't know if, if that has to do with the slugs because, you know, the snails, um, and slugs carry a particular, I don't know if it's a virus or some kind of germ or bacteria, I guess. And, um, actually it's deadly. So, I don't know if that's why they're avoiding it, but I did give them a fresh scoop of food today and they would not eat it. So the past few days I've only, they've only been eating people food like uh, rice, bread, pasta, fruit and stuff that I eat, just all kinds of stuff that I eat. They won't touch their regular chicken food. And I don't think they're, they're stu they're not stupid there's a reason why they're not they don't want to eat their chicken food and I'm thinking it's contaminated somehow um, I don't know but I'm just wondering what what am I gonna feed them I mean I can't only feed them people food they have to eat some kind of bird food but what what can I feed them um, I did buy some organic corn and they like that a little better, but what am I going to do? I can't just feed them corn and pasta and rice and bread. I mean, I'm just wondering if there's some kind of other kind of chicken food I could feed them. Um, I guess I need to go to the feed store and, and see, but I don't really don't want to feed them anything unless it's organic. Um, but I think for now I can't feed them the layer pellets anymore because they're actually afraid of it. They won't go near it and I'm thinking it's contaminated and I don't know but there's a reason they're not going around near it and there's got to be a reason why the slugs like it so much um, you know and the birds that are dying they feed off of crustaceans and slugs bugs and stuff so yeah, um, probably some kind of bacteria. Um, I've been sitting here freezing my ass off all day. It's like I didn't move to the fucking tropics to sit here and freeze. I'm so sick of this cold weather. Anyway, um, well, from what I hear, the Gulf Stream shut down. Because, you know, when the glaciers melt, the water gets warm. The, uh, the 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 acidity the acidity of the ocean changes, and that changes the current. And because you know, the warm and the cold water can't flow the way they're supposed to, so it kind of stops everything. I guess. I don't know. Unless they stopped it because they don't want the oil going traveling up further with the uh, bacteria in it. But the bacteria travels through air, so I don't think that's really it. I don't know. Anyway, um, well, you know, the bacteria, at least it's supposed to, the good things, it's, a, it's supposed to make energy. It's supposed to be able to turn algae into some kind of, you know, algae, like that's like that fluorescent, you know, green color that you see in a lot of the, the streams nowadays. Well, maybe you haven't seen those videos, but yeah. Um, it's supposed to turn the algae into a uh, new fuel for to fuel our cars. So, you know, with peak oil and everything, you need something to, you know, put in your car to drive around, right? Well, I mean, it's not just your car. It's planes. It's for transportation of food. It's pretty much everything. I mean, oil is used for everything, you know. I mean, pretty much everything you buy has oil in it. <laughs> Without oil, we, uh, we would go back to you know, cave days, basically. So it's pretty serious. You need oil and with peak oil and, you know, limits to how much oil you can get out of the ground, you need something to replace it. 
So hopefully this bacteria will do some good, but for now, you just, I don't know about the, what's going to happen to the food chain. But I do know one thing, I'm pretty much going to start going completely vegan. Um, I don't even think I want to eat eggs anymore. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want to get nerve damage from lack of vitamin B12, but I also don't want to get some kind of bacteria in my system. I don't know what to do. Uh, take care. Oh, and let me know if you know what I could feed my chickens.